plans for adding electricity to the manor. Dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights. Hmm, there's a missing page. Amelia left tonight. She packed her suitcase and walked right out of here and I didn't even notice. Like those days in the Oxford Library before we even met, I just had my nose in a book lost in my own world. I am such a fool. I have let my obsession with this damned ritual of long life rule my better judgment for far too long, and it may already be too late. How could I have not seen this coming? I've made this mistake over and over, always putting my research before my personal life. But it's never hurt like this before. I simply cannot live without her. If I have to give up this accursed quest that has plagued me for so long, then so be it. I am going after her, right now, tonight. Okay, Dad's ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has the combination to the safe. I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. At the time, I remember being so annoyed by that rather aggressive street vendor, but she just smiled in her sunny way and paid him without a second thought. I assumed it was just a tourist scam, but it actually works. Turns out it requires a very specific kind of vellum and a heat source to illuminate the ink after it's dried. It should prove a nice challenge for Lara to puzzle out. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia. The day of our wedding anniversary. Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. There's something else here. I've reached the monastery. As Roth predicted, it was hidden deep in the Himalayas, and now that I'm standing on these high stone walls, I am overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the mountains that surround me. It is simply breathtaking. But what adds to their spiritual majesty is the truth of this place. The monks welcomed me, as is their way, but they seem to expect me. They must have known someone like me would eventually come seeking answers. I know this is the place. They've conducted the ritual before. I have seen the evidence, the distinctive symbols carved into the floors, the art displayed on the inner chamber's walls. They've created the elixir before, and they will again if I can convince them. I sent Amelia a message straight away. I want her by my side for this discovery. Hmm, Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. Spent so many hours in here, reading, dreaming of my own adventures. lighter. I don't remember him ever using it, though. The Croft family crest and initials BC. I wonder if this belonged to my grandfather. Oh, 
Okay. Should be able to light the fireplace now. One of Winston's notes. He always hit sweets for me to find. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Now, let me see, let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one. In the chapter on Egyptian districts. Why, yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page with you. This was always one of my favorite books in this library. I used to trace hieroglyphs. Creation of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl. Takes me back. Those were good times. The best times. I always accepted that Richard's rather unorthodox research was just something I had to live with. But... But this time, the thrill of discovery has taken hold of me. I never imagined I could be drawn in this way. Richard Cable to tell me he's found the monastery. The symbol we deciphered in the scroll was the key to its location. I don't know if I honestly believe that this will lead to the fabled elixir of life, but I can't help but feel that a great secret awaits us there. My brother was threatening to shut down the expedition, but I managed to talk him down for the time being. Now I am going to meet Richard. I would bring Lara if I could, but she's still too young. She'll be in good hands with Winston, and when we return, her parents might just be a bit more famous. <laughs>